but my hair looks like crap because I just went to the pool and used their shitty shampoo and the shitty showers at the place. Anywho, so I just wanted to document this. I am dealing with insurance bullshit again. So I guess with my lower back pain, um, I saw the chiropractor the first day and they told me, um, come back every couple days for two weeks. If you don't feel any different, we'll refer you out maybe to ortho or maybe go see your primary care and see what they want you to do. So I did all those things. No relief after two weeks. They tried every uh, contraption they had at the chiropractor's office. They adjusted me several times. Still no relief. So I went to the ortho, had my MRI done yesterday, still waiting back for the results. That's going to cost me almost $500 split into payments, which to some might not seem like a lot, but to us, that's a big deal. So if they don't show me something on that, I'm going to be pretty angry. Not going to lie, I'm probably going to cry like a little bitch. Um, now my next step is very frustrating. Um, physical therapy. I figured why not? In the meantime, waiting for the MRI and an actual diagnosis or result, I will take care of myself, learn to brace my core, work on the muscles, have somebody teach me how to do it, stay on my ass about it, um, regular visits. So in order to do this, I had to make an appointment with my PCP doctor. I did that. Take time out of my day to go physically see the doctor because for some stupid reason, the insurance company won't let us do that over the phone. I have to be seen every time I want a referral. So this guy writes me a referral. Referral. Got that. They sent it over to this physical therapy place. They got it. Took a couple days to process. They called me several times trying to figure it out. Um, eventually they said the insurance cleared it. I was good to go. We weren't sure on how many appointments yet or how many visits they were going to clear me for, but they said I was in network. They confirmed it and gave me the go ahead to get started. Four visits later, um, I get an email saying they're being denied. I have a charge for 500 something dollars and a charge for 400 something dollars for visit one and visit two. Those are the only ones that have come through so far. So I'm still waiting on visit three and visit four. So far, uh, if it's 500 and 400, I can only imagine it's also going to be 500 and 400 for the last two, which means I've now had to cancel my care. I've had to withdraw all my appointments until I figure this out with my insurance company. I have followed all the proper channels. I got the referral I was supposed to get. I made sure they were in network. I made sure to get clearance and the okay before I did my appointments. And now they're still telling me I'm denied. Denied, denied, denied. So now I got paperwork showing the prescription, showing the referral, showing the confirmation that I am in network from both them and my insurance company. And I am going to do an appeal for every single charge they send me. And I'm going to send it in the mail and I'm going to keep fighting it until this gets fixed because I am not going to be $1,400 in the hole for something that they told me I was okay to do. And I did all the proper channels to do it the right way. So this is the kind of shit I am dealing with on a monthly basis with my insurance. Um, this Obamacare, uh, it, I'm done with it. I'm so done with it. The very first one I had a decade ago was Molina Insurance. It's a Texas-based one, I think. And it was tolerable, but I was... My frogs are fighting. Um, it's tolerable. It, it was... I could deal with it. But it, they made you jump through hoops. Um, and the, the kids were babies and I was new to it all and it was a lot of work and I remember a lot of tears and a lot of hours on the phone, but I made it happen. I still got what I needed out of the plan. I just had to fight for it. I gave up with them because they started to frustrate me. Switched to Ambetter. That was mostly a digital plan, which was, sounded great at the time. Um, if I need specialists to go in person, it would do that for me as long as I got a referral, no big deal. But the majority of it was sign on to my computer, see what I needed, call in a prescription if I had to have it. If it's something serious, send me to an actual doctor. Not a bad thing. Um, same thing with them. All the claims started getting denied and denied and denied, even though I was going through the proper channels and I was starting to get frustrated. So I said, you know what? As soon as open enrollment starts again in January, I'm getting out of this shit. I'm starting a new company. And now I'm with United Healthcare. And United Healthcare has pissed me off just as much, if not more, than Ambetter has. And I've had it since February, because that's pretty much when it started. Um, the first one I tried to do, I tried to do my OBGYN. 
and then my OBGYN sent me out for like a pee sample test or a blood work test. I can't even remember what it was, but it was supposed to be part of the women's wellness exam, which is covered 100% one time per year for females in the state of Texas. And then I get a $454 denied charge in my United Health Care uh, portal. So I was pissed about that, had to fight that. It is now September and I am still fighting that. I still have not come to a resolution with UHC and I'm still getting documents like, oh, we got your document, we'll update you. Blah. It has been like six months. So I'm not sure what the problem is. And now I've got four new claims on my hands. I could rant and rave about this all day. I have had absolutely enough of this. I know I'm going to regret asking this because my mother has already answered it and several people have already tried to give me advice that hasn't helped because I've done all of it before. But if anybody has any thoughts, lives in Texas, has an insurance company that is not based off of... I don't even know if that's possible because if it's not based off of government care, I don't get the subsidy to help me afford it and I cannot afford the thousand dollars a month to keep just me and my husband on this policy. I can't do it. That's why I don't have Blue Cross. Um, we can't afford that shit. On a four-person family, one income? No, we can't do that. So I'm paying for Obamacare at such and such dollars a month, which already feels like an awful lot to me for what little we get out of it. And I don't know how to make it any better. And I'm exhausted because I've spent hours on the phone a bunch of my free time by the time I have to I have to go get the kids again like I, I drop them off I have what five hours to work with and it goes by in the blink of an eye I'm not getting things that I want done the dishes have been in the sink for a week and a half I finally vacuumed for the first time in weeks just yesterday I haven't been able to do anything with my terrariums for fun because I don't have the time to dedicate to extra stuff um, it's all taken up by appointments, phone calls, and taking care of myself and taking care of the family. And it's just a little bit much. So, thoughts? How do y'all do this? Like, I, mm, like, I'm not great at this. And I know that. And I can at least admit it to myself and everybody else. But I am a little bit uh, treading water at this point in my life because... Uh, a husband is enough work to keep. Um, you have to work on relationships. Even the best relationships, both partners have to work. It's not physically working, but, like, it's an emotional thing, too. You have to, like, be there for each other. And there's a lot that goes into that, sacrificing and working and being there for one another and obligations and things. And then you add two kids to the mix, and it exponentially exceeds what you expect that to entail. Um, that's a lot. And now I got all this on my plate too. In the meantime, I've had colds and flus through this household for almost three weeks total. I finally got over that after the kids gave it to me. And then I thought I was good only to be knocked on my ass for an entire two days from allergies. Could not breathe. I couldn't even do a saline rinse. It wouldn't even come through my nose. Um, it, it's been a little crazy. So I don't even know at this point, like I'm just tired and not like tired, but like tired. Um, so yeah, anybody want to commiserate or chat or comment below, maybe you're going through something similar and we're all just pretending we're okay. And I'm not really as alone as I think I am, but I feel sometimes like I am not cut out for this life and everybody around me looks so goddamn put together. It makes me want to dig a hole, crawl in the ground and not come back out. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now.